Ciao everyone, welcome back to another slow fashion video. Today I wanted to talk about denim. All the silhouettes, the fit, all that jazz. But before jumping in, I have to say that while I understand the different silhouettes will affect different body shapes, I'll be loosely talking about this. I don't think that there are rules around what makes you feel your best. I truly believe that confidence and comfort in what you're wearing is what makes someone really stylish. So I'm not here to tell you what to wear. I just hope this information helps you understand the different shapes and different types of denim a little bit better. Of course, if you want that kind of in-depth advice, I'm really excited to be launching some personal styling stuff really soon. I took a little bit of a break from personal styling for a few years, but I get so many in-depth questions now that I can't always answer, so I thought I would try this. Um, it's not launched yet, but I'm really excited about it. If you are interested in it, then I would sign up for the newsletter because that's where all of the like first announcements and things come out. So. With that being said, let's jump on into our jeans. Oh my goodness. Full of alliterations today. Okay. Starting with the absolute basics, I want to talk about fit. Ultimately, the two most important measurements here are rise and inseam. The rise is measured from the seam right at your crotch all the way up to the top of the waistband. And there are three main rises that you'll be able to find. A low rise, which is normally around seven inches, and that falls usually around two inches below the navel. So this is a really interesting one if you want to accentuate your hips or if you have a very straight up and down body and you want to create the illusion of curves. That's that's a really interesting rise. However, a mid-rise, which is anywhere around nine inches, it usually falls just under the navel. That is a really universally flattering one because it really gives some st structure around the middle, but it's also super versatile because it works with all lengths of tops. And finally, there's a high rise, which is a very classic, almost vintage kind of feel to it. And it usually measures anywhere above nine inches and falls at the navel or a little higher. This is my personal preference because I have short legs. So a high rise makes my legs look a little longer, which I love. But ultimately it's going to be totally dependent on you and your body, what you like to accentuate and also what else is in your closet. The inseam is measured from the crotch all the way down to the inside bottom of the hem. The best way to find your perfect inseam is to take a pair of trousers or jeans, the construction is the same, so it doesn't matter which, and measure that seam along the inside and you can take any denim that you like to get tailored so that it matches that inseam. I believe some silhouettes look better when they're left long and others do really well when they're a little bit shorter. And of course, it depends on your body too. So let's get to those silhouettes. I'm gonna start with this season's love affair with the straight leg. We have seen the straight leg denim come back into popularity and it's essentially what it sounds like. It is fitted around the waist and falls straight from the hips. There's no flare. It's not to be confused with a wide leg. A straight leg is, I think, a very universally flattering denim because it's not so figure conscious. It creates these nice long lines. It's very clean and simple. However, if you worry about it overwhelming your frame, I would definitely recommend hemming up just a little bit to perhaps around your ankle bone or just a touch higher. Styling a straight leg denim is incredibly easy because it doesn't have a dramatic silhouette or offer any super dramatic proportions. It's a really beautiful canvas to work with other items that might provide a little bit of drama. So you could wear it equally with a really billowy oversized top, but it also looks beautiful with something a little bit more fitted on the top as well. They also look really beautiful paired with a blazer. This can create a really balanced and harmonious look. So knowing that it's really going to depend what you already have in your closet and if you want to create drama or keep your outfits looking really subtle. I think because of the column-like silhouette on a straight leg, any in seam will look great. So it'll really depend on how you want your look to come across. I find if you want a little bit of a break around the shoe, it can have a really nice relaxed and effortless vibe. Whereas if you do get it 
shortened a little bit to show off your footwear. It also looks really elegant and a little bit more polished. When it comes to the footwear, this is another really versatile silhouette because it looks equally good balanced with chunkier shoes like moto boots and sneakers, or you're going on the opposite end of balance with perhaps a strappy sandal or a more delicate shoe. I also love it because it can easily be worn over boots and booties, or it looks really good simply cuffed if you want to show off your shoes a little bit more. Next up are flares, and I think what I say about flares applies also to a boot cut silhouette. So they're like kind of distant cousins. So a flare is fitted at the waist and at the hips and is also quite fitted all the way down to the knee or just below the knee and then it really flares out. This is very similar to a boot cut except the flare is a lot smaller and it's a lot more subtle. Flares and boot cuts have a lot of shape so they can create shape for you if you don't have any or they can balance out and accentuate if you want to do that with your body. So they really are kind of like the master of all things depending on what it is you want to highlight. So if you get a nice high-waisted flare or boot cut, this is really going to enhance or accentuate or create something more like an hourglass figure, but it's also really good at balancing out any heavier top halves if you want to create a more balanced look. Flares and boot cuts are typically long. That's how their inseam starts, but you can always get it taken up. It is totally possible to wear both a flat shoe and a heel with your flares and boot cuts. You're just going to have to be okay if when you wear a heel, the hem doesn't fall right to the ground. The beauty of this silhouette is that on top, again, you can choose to either create a lot of drama, a lot of flow, and go for a more bohemian feel with oversized or flowy tops. What I think makes these more bohemian and flowy looks work is if there's some sort of definition or detail around the top. So it doesn't have to be tucking your top in or tying it at the waist. It can be something as classic as a beautifully structured jacket or blazer, or if there's some sort of detail or structure around the top itself, or like an asymmetric hem, I think all of these things allow the eye to move over the outfit without being completely overwhelmed. And of course, if you want to accentuate the waist or your middle further, these look great with a belt or a knotted or tucked in shirt. Next up is my favorite, the wide leg. I think a wide leg trouser or denim looks so good. It almost comes across more as a trouser, so it's a little bit more dressy. A wide leg denim is fitted at the waist and then really drops straight down from the hips and flares out consistently from the top of the leg down. So this is really great if you want something that is less figure conscious. I think because of that beautiful structure, it can create some really great balance if you want to pair it with a fitted top or if you want to balance out a heavier top half then this is a really beautiful way to create a very harmonious look. I think these look great as a crop and this is really fun in terms of styling because you can wear all sorts of boots underneath these pants. Another way to style the wide leg is to really balance out that big volume on the bottom by pairing it with something very figure hugging and tailored or fitted on top. You can also create balance in the sense of making it very harmonious and wear something voluminous on top. I also like that little bit of a mix between a more delicate and dainty shoe with the heft of those pants. I think they really do work together. The boyfriend is another fit that I personally really like. The way the fit works is that it's a little bit fitted around the waist but pretty much loose everywhere else, going down from the hips all the way to the leg. It can come in a straight leg silhouette or it can have a slight taper at the bottom. I think again boyfriend denim looks really good on everyone. Much like the other denim I think you can really lean into the whole boyfriend vibe and go super casual with a pair of sneakers, maybe a graphic tee, throw on a blazer to add that 
like little hit of polish, but you can also take it on the other side and really mix the styles with a pair of feminine pumps or heels or a little flat perhaps and a really cute blouse. There are so many different ways that you can take it and that's why I think boyfriend denim, because it has so much personality like the flare or the boot cut, it's almost like you want to decide whether you're gonna oppose the boyfriend denim or really like lean into the whole boyfriend vibe. Finally, the skinny! <sighs> the denim that I got so many questions about that I decided to make this video. The skinny jean, I think we all know what it looks like, but it is very, very figure conscious. It is tight through the waist, the hips, and all the way down to the leg. There is no flare out. It really is the shape of your leg. Like all denim, I think it can be flattering on everyone. I think ultimately it depends if you want to show off your legs or if you want to use skinnies almost as a legging to kind of let your legs take a back seat and wear a lot of layers and, long, and longer tunic tops and long cardigans and things like that. When it comes to styling them, I think skinnies are essential if you are someone who loves to wear knee-high or over-the-knee boots because they fit nice and snug, you don't have to worry about bunching. This can be a really beautiful and polished look, almost preppy if you go with the whole like riding boot and blazer vibe, but skinnies can provide a lot of balance in terms of creating drama on your top half. So wearing them with oversized sweaters, or they can even handle layers really well because they kind of just fade into the background, really are quite versatile if that's something that you like in your closet. So that is what I have for you today. I hope that this video helps you navigate the world of denim a little bit better. And if there are other topics around denim that you'd like me to cover, please let me know in the comments below. In the meantime, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you learned something new. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. I hope you have a wonderful week ahead and I will be back with another slow fashion video. Thank you so much for watching. Ciao.